Well, he, of course, rose to fame as Harry Potter, but now he's taken on a wide variety of roles. Here to tell us about his latest one, please welcome Daniel Radcliffe. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you, how too, you? buddy. I'm great. Thank, thank you so much. much for coming out. Yeah, thank you for having me. I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so proud of you, first of all, because I've Jeez, now man. gotten to know you for a little while. And all these diverse roles that you've chosen, you've gone from Harry Potter to... <laughs> To, to, to being nude on Broadway with a horse. That is that, okay? To the woman in black. Yeah. Right? Some love triangles recently, right? Yeah. Really diverse choices. Now, is that to really just show uh, a, a really distinct stretch from Harry Potter, or what were those conscious decisions? I mean, I think, to be honest, it really is just about what interests me the most and what kind of gets me excited. And um, I don't know. I. There's, there's no real strategy. It's just I kind of make the films that I as a, feel like as an audience member I would want to see. Right. And I have kind of, I guess, like slightly, uh, you know, off the beaten path taste and stuff. And so far people seem to be enjoying that too. And to be honest, it's the way I, it's the way I, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, so it's, I think to be honest, it's the way I have the most fun doing my job is yeah. by changing up all the time. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, Kill Your Darlings. You play a young Allen Ginsberg. D tell me about that. Yeah, so I, I play um, Allen Ginsberg at the age of 17 when he was first going off to Columbia University. And uh, he meets and falls in love with uh, Lucian Carr, played by Dane DeHaan, who you'll meet shortly. Mm -hmm. And um, and yeah, and we um, it's about, uh, it's the true story of a, a, a murder that helped form the Beat Generation. And it's a, it's a true story and one that very few people know. Um, and we've got a great cast of uh, Dane and Michael C. Hall and Jack yeah. Houston, Ben Foster. Like it's a it's a really great group and a, I think a really special film. Now I hear in this film you actually have a gay love scene. I do. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, got, I got to imagine, or, or I'm assuming, this is your first? This is my first, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. First time for everything. How'd everything work out? It was it was good. You know, it was one of those scenes. Was it like, a physical scene? Um, it is, It is a, as, you, as you'll see in the film, it's a fairly physical scene. It's giggly and awkward, but it's because you're getting naked in front of somebody you just right. met. But other than that, it's kind of fun. It's other than right, that, yeah. it's all good. <laughs> now, is there any truth, I know there's always rumors out there uh, floating around, is there any truth to the, ra uh, to the rumors of you possibly playing Freddie Mercury in a film? <laughs> um, I, Have you heard that one? I, I I have heard this rumor, and I'm really uh, dis uh, sorry. Dis <laughs> Do it. I, I haven't been offered it. There's nothing like it's, it was a complete rumor. I'm afraid. Do you um, sing? I do sing, I love singing, but I don't, I don't have Freddie Mercury's range. Like, well, uh, you know, hardly uh, anyone does, but. You know, um, but yeah, so I don't, um, I don't think I, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'm right for that part. Thank you for your confidence <laughs> in me. But, Thank, you, uh, Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24 seven updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you <laughs> want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>